Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. So, as you can see, I tried to clear up a lot of my inventory. Now that AKD is completed, I felt like I needed a lot less of the items I had before. I think at some point I will be going back to Lizardmen to get some fangs for my talisman, hence why I have this anti-poison. But most of my range training will be done here at Red Dragons. With that said, I'm going to be grinding out here for a while, possibly get a crafting level, and uh, I'm aiming for about 85 ranged, hopefully we can get that pretty soon. I also decided to keep the Book of the Dead, as the teleports are fairly handy, and now that I have Law Runes, it shouldn't be too hard to recharge. It's also required for some of the new spells, which I may try out in the future. In addition, it also gives a hefty prayer bonus three times as much as the memoirs did for the shield slot. And I didn't really didn't actually realize this when I first got it, so that's a pretty nice bonus. This could make really good use for something like chinning in the future when I need a high prayer bonus. Also, for those of you who weren't in the stream, you might be wondering why the NPCs on the minimap are blue. And uh, long story short, I'm partially colorblind, and we decided that it actually might be more beneficial for me to just change the color of NPCs. We are currently sat at 80 ranged, as you might have seen just a second ago, but we also have 55 prayer, which is actually really nice considering I have trained all the way from 37 to 55 just by using this burner here, and that is pretty much going to be the sole source of my prayer XP in the future of this account. So, it's uh, it's not bad, it's like 12k XP an hour in prayer alone. Uh, not to mention I get a decent amount of range XP and crafting XP and other stuff alongside that. Also I'm making plenty of money. I've got over 3 mil now. Uh, this cash stack is slowly going up and like I've said in quite some old episodes, I have very little use for money other than late game buying blood runes and stuff like that. So we could see this turn into a green cash stack fairly soon. All in all though, I'm probably going to be camping here until I feel like I need to go to Lizardmen. So the next clip will probably just be me killing Lizardmen. So for a bit of a laugh, um, <laughs> Ian said that he wanted to give me a bond and I told him that he had to find me first and then realized that he is a 99 prayer pure. So he basically will just get beaten to death by the things in the Forfoast dungeon. So what I've done is I've come up here and I've stood here and now he's trying to find me. But the funny thing is, even if he does find me, I don't think he can even get to me. We're going to see what happens. So, he found me, but like I said, he can't get in. <laughs> I'll come out, I'll come out. <laughs> I'm not that mean, I just wanted to be there for a laugh. I appreciate the effort, buddy. Thank you for the bond, my friend, and good job finding me. So, we've been growing out red dragons for a while. We are very nearly 81 ranged, um, but we are actually about to run out of thread. So, if we use up these last... Well, this last thread on these dragon hide, maybe we can use it up on these. And there we go, that was actually a perfect use of them. We're going to elk off these, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use up these four grubby keys, and we're going to go and spend some time at Lizardmen. Or I might actually only use up two, because then I can use the food and come back and get some more. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. So we're going to drop the needle, we don't need that. We actually finished off all of what we had, so we're going to run over to the grubby chest. We're going to get ourselves uh, a little bit of food. We've got an anti-poison right here so we can go and kill lizard men. This will be just to get some more charges for my Xerix Talisman, but this might give me a ranging potion or melee potions or something like that to help me with the lizard men. We've got a ranging potion, there we go, beautiful. And some sharks and some Renars. Actually, that was a really nice chest. <laughs> not, not even complaining. Um, we've got the super defense. Uh, is that going to be that useful? Probably. I hate the fact that it prioritizes the uh, egg potatoes over the sharks, especially when sharks heal more. Uh, quite irritating. I think, yeah, that's it. All I need to use is one key. I was going to use two, but we basically got everything we needed from that first chest, so we're going to head over to Lizardmen for a bit, and we're going to see if we can get ourselves some Lizardmen fangs, and we can recharge the Xerix Talisman. So, my poison resistance has just worn off, and we managed to get ourselves a grand total of three Lizardmen fangs in this grind. I put the first one in already, but now we have four charges. That was absolutely pitiful. I was hoping to get a little bit more 
out of the two super anti poison doses. Uh, maybe I'm better off going to the stone chests. The only thing is, I don't want to spend too much time grinding out charges for the talisman. Uh, the Book of the Dead does pretty good, so I don't need to worry too much about the talisman charges. But, like I said, I don't want to grind out too much time for the charges, but they could be useful. So uh, I'm kind of stuck in a little predicament now of what I want to do regarding that. I do have 86 thieving, so it's not that ridiculous to go and do stone chests. And they are only just over here. Now, I'm not sure what I'd actually need for these. Probably would actually need an anti-poison um, and some food. But honestly, I've got some sour brews on me. And as much as they are brews and it feels like a waste, um, I'm an ultimate. So I can't bank them anyway. So I feel like maybe I should just head over there and try and use the brews. And uh, harvest myself some fangs. Obviously it's going to lower my combat stats, but in the meantime I can easily just um, get some ranger potions or restores from the grubby chest with these as it is. Or I could just go and make myself a restore potion with a Harrowlander, which aren't hard to get. So we're probably going to head over to the stone chest and see if we can get some more fangs from that. If we can manage to get a, uh, a Xerix Talisman from it, that would be even better, because that's 100 fangs in itself. And at some point, once we finally get ourselves 30 Slayer, we'll actually be able to get an increased drop rate of Xerix Talisman from Lizardmen by doing the diary. And the reason I'm waiting for 30 Slayer to do that is so that I can use the lamp on it because that one is non-reclaimable. Um, unlike the one you can get from a Kingdom Divided and Architectural Alliance where you can destroy it and reclaim it later, you can't do that with a diary. So once we get ourselves 30 Slayer, we'll be able to go ahead and complete that diary and it'll make it a lot easier to get fangs. In the meantime though, I'm going to head over to the stone chests and we're going to try and get ourselves some fangs from them. Okay, so we just got ahead and got ourselves a hundred Lizardmen Fangs from these stone chests. We've also got six Limpwort Seeds and a Taramin Seed. I don't know if I'm going to use these up. I think I, I could use them for some Herbor XP, but I'm not sure how I feel about that right now. Uh, we're going to drop the Diamond Bolt Tips and stuff like that. We also got ourselves a Medium Clue, which can actually be done while on Zaya. And I'm going to quickly go ahead and do this step. Um, almost definitely I'm not going to be able to do the next step, but I thought I might as well do it, seeing as it is actually able to do. So let's charge up the Xerix Talisman. We now have 104 charges. There's a lot more than we had before. We're going to go and get this step of this clue done. Okay, so this clue is actually located right here. I just need to search this apple basket and we should get ourselves the next clue, which is almost definitely off Zaya, but we're going to have a look anyway. That is a uh, Feisty, uh, the Ogre. Uh, whatever, it's in third up hills, so we can't do this. So that's going to get dropped on the floor, but it was worth a try. So we found some herbs, and they were irrits, so we're just going to quickly use up these alongside the other irrits that I had. We're going to make some potions with these, put ourselves a little bit close to 51. We're actually very close. I didn't realize we were that close to 51. We've got ourselves some limpwort roots that I farmed from the previous limpwort seed that was planted, and I planted this one. I'm going to grow them for now. Uh, maybe I end up dropping them. It really depends. If I can get myself some qualms, I might go ahead and try and make some super strengths once I get one more herbal level, which obviously we are very close to. I can boost up with a botanical pie and make some of those. So that would be really nice XP. But for now, we are going to smack the magic shot by work on. We are going to head back to Red Dragons. Uh, I need to grab myself a needle and thread. And uh, we're basically just going to camp at Red Dragons again. Now that we've got another 100 charges on our Xerix Talisman, we are more than ready to carry on. We've got some grubby keys here, so we're probably going to try and get ourselves another ranging potion. But apart from that, yeah, I'll pretty much just be camping Red Dragons. So, once again, we are incredibly low on arrows. So we're actually going to head over to Shazian and we're going to buy ourselves like another... 5,000 steel arrows. I'm not sure how many I want to get. Um, I might be doing Skatizo tomorrow on livestream, which will be, well, the fourth, but obviously that would have already happened by the time you see this clip. But we are going to head over to Shazian and restock on some arrows. We are currently working our way towards 82 ranged and um, almost got ourselves 74 crafting. So we are shortly going to be live streaming some of the Overzealous series and I've got a few things planned for this uh, live stream and one of those is actually to do Skatizo because I want to finally use up these totems. I was planning to get 85 ranged before we did it but I think I'm probably just going to get 82 as I'm getting close to that and then we'll go ahead and do it. I've got myself a nice ranging potion here that I got from Grubby Chest earlier and uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is that we are now actually 60 prayer from doing all of this which is really nice. And we also got 74 crafting, and if we can get 75, we can actually make red dehyde chaps, which not only is an upgrade, but it also makes it really uh, makes it a lot nicer to do crafting while killing red dragons. 
We've got 62 magic, and like I said, we're 50,000 XP away from 82, so I'm probably going to get the 82 ranged, and then we will try and attempt some Skatizo. And also in this live stream, I think I'm going to actually attempt something else. Now, if we go ahead and look at the combat level, you'll see that I'm level 74. Now, if I get this next range level, it'll push me to 75 combat. Now, for those of you who don't know what this means, it basically allows me to get a Slayer task from Konar. Now, there's approximately, I think, a 40% chance that I get a task that I can actually do, which is a, actually a very high probability, a lot higher than I originally suspected. And the main reason for that is because I cannot be assigned tasks that um, I can't do for certain reasons, or tasks that are, were locked behind certain quests, so like anything that's in the Slayer Tower, basically. Um, not that I actually have the Slayer level to kill them anyway, but the game won't assign me them anyway. And also, I cannot assign be assigned Dragon tasks, because I haven't done Dragon Slayer. There's a whole bunch of reasons as to why I can't be assigned certain tasks. So a lot of the tasks that I can get assigned are generally like Black Demons, Greater Demons, and then we've got the Chasm of Fire, we've got the... Um, I've completely forgotten what it's called. Uh, the Catacombs of Corrent, that's the one. Um, we've got things like that, so there's a lot of areas where I can still kill the Slayer monsters, and I'm hoping, very much hoping, that I get either a Greater Demon or a Black Demon task in the Catacombs. If I can get a Black Demon task in the Catacombs, it's actually insane, because what I can do is I can actually kill Skatizo for every single kill of that task. And yes, I'm aware, this would take a very long time, but given that I don't expect to be able to do many Slayer tasks with Konar, it'd be the best way to like abuse Slayer XP from her. Um, but yeah, if I can get a Black Demon tasks in the Catacombs, that'd just be absolutely insane. But honestly, I'll be happy if I get any task I can actually complete. Regardless, we're going to carry on ranging for a little while. Just about to start the stream, I will be getting uh, 82 range. We're going to finish off the Nature Runes and then probably attempt some Skatizo. But uh, you'll see in the next clips what I decide to record. I think I'm going to drop these limpots and the seeds because they're just taking up space and I'm not going to get the qualms for them. Yeah, I'm just going to drop them. I'm going to need the space for Skatizo in a little bit anyway. So during the stream, we actually decided that we were going to postpone getting 82 range until a little bit later. And in the meantime, I wanted to grab myself the full Shazian tier 5 as the tier boots are actually very good range bonus. So we headed over to the Shazian encampment and started that. So I just talked to tier one. Oh, there's tier one. Okay, talk to soldier tier one. Fancy a fight, it's just a bit of fun, so I can practice melee combat. I'll give him a piece of armor. I reckon I can take you. That should be the last item, right? I think that's the full set now. So if I talk to him again, he's just gonna say, I already have a set. Okay, so then I just go and talk to the second tier, right? Alright, cool. So then I can talk to this guy and I'll just upgrade the kit. Nice. Okay, so tier 5. What does tier 5 use on me? Because it looks like they're just going to punch me. Uh, that's quite scary. Well, let's get tier 5 done. Okay, so that should be the last of it. That should be the last piece we need. And we're going to lag. Nice. Okay, we've got the Shazian Body 5. So if I talk to them again, are they going to tell me... Okay, yeah, we've got the full set. So we can finally get rid of uh, the Tier 4 Helm. The Tier 4 Gloves. Boots. Greaves. And Plate Body. Yeah, apparently the world's laggy, not me. And we now have the full Shazian set, Tier 5. Nice. We can use this for shamans when we uh, eventually get around to doing them. Won't be that much longer now. But it also does give... If I take these boots off... The boots actually give 4 range bonus. Which is technically best in slot unless I was to get ranger boots. Which is kind of ridiculous, so we're not even going to be trying for that. But anyway, this is the best range setup we have now. And this is what we're going to attempt to Skatizo with. And there we go. 82 ranged and... Annoying Druid interrupted my level up, but that is going to give us 75 combat, which means we can now get a task from Konar. Alright guys, we're going to go get our first Slayer assignment from Konar. I am pretty hyped to get this, but I'm going to be really gutted if it's a task that I can't do. 
I would just be happy if I could just do one single task from Konar. Even better if it's greater demons or black demons in Zaya, but I would just take any task that I can actually do. Let's get the task. No! Oh, it's the right monster, the wrong place. Oh, I'm so gutted. Well, we tried. It was worth a shot. We can't do the Slayer task, which means we can never train Slayer. <sighs> it was worth a try. Can't go to Brimhaven, unfortunately. Well, that sucks. Um, I guess we'll go kill Skatizo anyway. So, we need to gear up for Skatizo. So, I'm going to teleport with the book, actually. We're going to go with the book back over to Hosidius, and we're going to use up some grubby keys. We've got five of them. I don't really know what I want, because the method we're going to be using for Skatizo is pretty much just fully prayer potions. I'm going to need a little bit of food, but not a lot. So I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this, but we'll go and see what we can get from the chest and I'll figure it out as we go. Alright, so I think this is pretty much what we're going to go with. We're going to go make ourselves a whole bunch of prayer potions, because the method is stupid. Uh, I need to sort out the Ranars and note them up and all of that. We got ourselves loads of ranging potions from that chest. I think it was like spewing it out every single chest. So we've actually got two ranging potions and a super defense. But I think I should definitely drop the brew because I have no restore to restore with it. So that's going to go on the floor. Uh, I've got some torsos that I'm just going to be dropping if anyone wants. And um, got the run that we need to know up. So we're going to go sort out this inventory before we take on Skatizo. Okay, so this is how we're looking for the attempt on Skatizo. We have eight prayer potions, a super defense, two range potions, and some sharks just in case we take too much damage. But with the method that I'm planning, we shouldn't actually take that much damage at all. It should just be a very slow kill. So uh, hopefully this goes well. So after doing some theory crafting for killing Skatizo, this is not looking very hopeful. But I still want to attempt it anyway, as I want to get rid of these totems out of the inventory. They've been sat there for so long, and uh, I want to clear up the inventory space. So we are still going to head over to Skatizo and give it a try. I currently have 525 arrows, which I don't think is enough. But I don't want to have an excess amount if I fail, so this is what I'm just going to work with. Anyway, we're going to give this a try, and uh, time for me to die.
Let's go. He is downed. Skatizo is beaten. For everyone who doubted me, there you go. Skatizo is completed. What do we get? I thought we got Rune Arrows at the drop, but it's just what we used for the kill. Got ourselves the Shard, Death Runes. Not anything useful, but I didn't expect to get anything useful from this. Wow, so many tasks that we just completed. Was it four? I mean, none of that is relevant because I'm never going to be able to finish it anyway, but let's have a quick look at what the clue is. Oh, I can't do ciphers. But that is the first Gatizo kill done, and we did not get the pet. But I think I could definitely do another one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go and restock. Um, maybe by like 50 more arrows, because I think I used just around 320, 330, and I don't want to keep it close to the next one. And uh, I'm also going to go get myself some more prayer potions, but definitely doable, definitely doable. Alright, we're going to grab ourselves another 50 arrows, we've got ourselves some lobsters, just to make up the rest of the food, plenty of prayer potions, and we'll go for our second Scotizo kill. Scotizo number two. There we go. Yeah! Scotizo kill two. I don't care about the Konar task. Yeah, you guys can get out of my face. Die. Cool. Alright, what do we get as the draw? We didn't get the pat, unfortunately, but... Oh, we got blood runes this time instead of death runes. It wasn't even close. It was pretty close, mate, not gonna lie. So, we just decided to make ourselves some Battlefront teleport tablets, as this will be really handy when I need to head over to the other side of the map and I'm not on the right spellbook. Just walking back to Shazian, because I completely forgot that I only have rune arrows. So we're going to go and get ourselves another chunk of steel. Time to teleport back and live at Undead Druids for a while. So we just finished the stream and I'm pretty much just going to be spending a chunk of time at the Undead Druids because I want to collect up some nature runes and then we're going to be heading over to Banshees and basically just living there because I need to collect a load of Ranars and that is the best place I can think of. The only other option is to go to the lizard men and try and get some Ranar seeds and I don't think it's that pl uh, plausible to do that. Um, so I'm pretty much just going to be living at Banshees. We're trying to get 85 ranged and um, at the beginning of the next episode you'll probably see me at Banshees hopefully making some work on this range, probably getting like 83 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I want to get 85 ranged and then we can finally move on to something that I have wanted to do for a very long time and I know a lot of people have been asking me to do for a very long time. And that is shamans. We are, at some point, going to attempt to get the Dragon Warhammer. There is one last thing I want to do before that anyway, and that is actually to finish getting 60 strength. And the reason for that is because then I can just get rid of the Rune Scimitar. And the reason for this is because once I finally do get the Dragon Warhammer, I can actually just train combat or melee combat with the Dragon Warhammer. It's slightly less DPS than a Rune Scimitar, unfortunately, but... It will save up the inventory space, and when I finally get 65 attack, I'm going to be trying to get the cudgel anyway, so I don't really desperately need the scimitar. And if all goes bad, I can still go back to fire giants and get myself another scimitar, or I could range some of the um, Karen guards and stuff like that. There's loads of ways for me to get a scimitar on Zaya, so it's not a big deal if I have to get rid of this. But I will be trying to get 60 strength before I go ahead and do shamans. As you can see, we do still have the Shazian Boots 5 on. The rest of it is in the house, so we have the gear to do it. And uh, that is the main reason why I've been stacking up Ranars, um, because I want to get a load of prayer potions stocked up so that when we go and do shamans, we can live there for some time. Anti-poisons are going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to be having to kill the temple spiders, but honestly, it's not too insane of a deal. Um, it's just a grind that I'm going to have to do on an ultimate, it's just the way it is, doing it on a restricted account. But with all that said guys, I'm going to end off this episode here, I'm going to be training on Druids and Banshees, and I'll see you guys in the next episode with hopefully some range levels. Take it easy guys, and I'll see you next week.